Hey guys, welcome to welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brianna. If you're new here, thanks so much for clicking on this video. And if you're a channel subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. As you can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing another unboxing today. We're gonna be unboxing my new MacBook. Um, this is the MacBook Air with the M2 chip. And it just got here like literally like two hours ago. Like <laughs> I was supposed to come in two days, but it came a little early. So we're gonna be unboxing it today. I'm gonna give y'all a little close-up of the box. Um, I did get it in silver, so hence why you see that the image on it is um, that light-looking silver color because it goes along with many more cases in my opinion. Here's my old MacBook. This is the 2018 MacBook Air, I believe. And um, I'm, I've just been having like a little bit of some storage issues with it as of late because I didn't buy as much storage on it back in the day because I didn't know I was gonna like need it for like, you know, editing and things like that. Um, so yeah, hence the need for the upgrade, but I've been making y'all wait long enough. Um, let's get to the unboxing part. We're at this low unboxing angle again, and let's really just get started. There's a tab here that I'm about to pull, and we're about to start taking the cover off. Now all the plastic is off, it's time to And now it's time to take the actual MacBook out of the cover. Y'all, do y'all see this color? This color is literally so beautiful. This is one of the most prettiest silvers I've ever seen. It's like a new light version of the silver. This is so pretty. Hold on, let's let's turn it on. Oh, it starts from the get-go even though that the screensaver is still there. Okay, so putting the actual MacBook aside, we have the case um, in here. We have the power cord and then the manual. Let me see if I learn any new things in here. <laughs> so inside of here are those two famous Apple stickers that we always get with everything. And in here we have a little pamphlet for the MacBook Air. So my last one, it didn't have Touch ID actually, but this one, it does. And this essentially just tells you like the ports and like where to charge it and things like that. It's not that much new information. And this just says a lot of things that's anybody. <laughs> and then within the case, we have, um, the charger head which i remember i got the the dual charger head so i can also charge my phone while charging the macbook so that's also quite cool i'm gonna put it back wow just close range again look at this color Ugh, i made the right choice and this is so beautiful i can't get over it so that concludes the video i hope everyone has a great day i'm kidding <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yes, we just unboxed it, but we still have to customize it. And I have a few little things that I've um, been looking at in recent weeks since ordering this MacBook. So we're gonna be adding a wallpaper. We're gonna be doing some widgets and things like that. I'm just really quickly just gonna set it up to like base settings, the language and connect it to my Apple ID and everything. And then we're gonna get started on that.
A few moments later. Okay, so I finally finished setting up all the preliminary things and got it on Wi-Fi and everything. Um, and I just figured I had a screen record. So we're gonna be inserting a screen record in three, two, one. So this looks great from the get-go, um, but we are gonna get rid of the wallpaper. Um, in preparation for this MacBook, I did have a few planned out, so I'm just gonna airdrop those to myself on the Mac right now, and then we'll feel each of them out. Ooh, baby's first airdrop. <laughs> Oh, these are all cute. Okay, so let's go into settings and um, get this wallpaper figured out. Oh, okay, so here is attempt at wallpaper number one. This is cute. I I like this, um, but I don't love it. I don't love it. So let's let's try another one. <laughs> Ooh, let's try this. I have high hopes for this. Like, in case you guys haven't noticed, I've been talking about purple, purple, purple all the time um i have a case for this that actually is purple so i just want to see how everything looks let's get this out of the way once again i like it but i don't love it let's keep looking <laughs> this one i don't think that these turned out how i panned them out to be they're a little like too close this is not what i imagined at all <laughs> in this so we're gonna try again <laughs> See, now these I had high hopes for. I actually really did. But, mmm, I don't know. It's not panning out to be that way. Ooh, I actually really like this. It gives calm. But then also reminds me of the, of the inside of a cell. So, <laughs> y'all give me a second to dwell on this and I'll be right back. A little longer than a few minutes later. Yeah, no, I really like this actually. It's really cute and it matches with the vibe that I wanted to go for, something a little purplish in there. So yeah, I'm really also starting to realize that I have no idea how to use this laptop for real. Like I've been using my um, my ThinkPad, my Lenovo a lot because um, of school and I really only use my MacBook to edit so I don't like use it often. <laughs> and I keep forgetting that you have to like physically click. It's not like a tap like on which like most like android hhp you have to like physically press to select something and um yeah but now that the wallpaper is set um let's move on so the next thing i wanted to do was change the accent color i've actually never done this on my old mac because like i didn't really look into personalizing it honestly um but if an accent color i think i want it to be like pink yeah that's cute i like that that's gonna be the accent color so now we're going to download some fun widgets. Brianna can find the app store. <laughs> so one of the really big ones that I've heard about is that desktop flip clock app. Um, that thing that everyone uses to like count down to their birthday or some kind of like important day in their life. So I have that on my old Mac, so we're going to get that now. Oh, wow, that downloaded really quickly. Okay. <laughs> and then the next one that we're going to get is color widgets. I already have that on my phone. So I figured that it'll be really useful on the Mac too. And then the third app that we're gonna get is um, Smart Tasks. This is another app that I have on my phone that really helps me um, make sure that I'm hitting my targets every day and doing the things that I need to do. And I don't know, I'm just one of those people that just likes to have a little to-do list and just like swipe it off and check it off. It's like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> um, so we're definitely gonna have that on the Mac as well. So yeah, here are um, the three new apps with the little blue dots are the ones that I just downloaded. As you guys can see, we do have Final Cut Pro on here. Um, I splurged a little bit and I got the uh, the extra added bonus of getting the bundle of Main Stage, Final Cut Pro, Compressor, Emotion, and Logic Pro. Very, very excited about that. I used to edit on iMovie a lot before and it really wasn't an issue because like, it's not like I did any like amazing big edits that required too much like... Um, of any like large program that had like had a lot of things but it's just like little little things like inserting text um finding your own sound effects and things like that that were just like a little time consuming a little tedious so um new macbook <laughs> final cut pro we're up in the content you know what i mean so i'm very much excited to start using that but for right now we're just doing like the base things and just customizing our macbook a little bit more anyway though first on our little thing we're gonna click the flip clock app Ooh. I just got here <laughs> um 
really don't know how any of this stuff works for real. I really should have looked at this. Display settings, um, 24 hour time, da 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 da. Okay, yeah, because I actually do like that military time. And our second little app is gonna be Smart Tabs. Okay, let's get started. So let's full screen this right quick. Um, really all I have for today that I want on my computer, because like I said, I have this on my phone, but um, I'm gonna have like different like computer tasks that I wanna do once when the computer's on and I'm like, it's right in front of me and I'm like watching it to make sure that I'm doing. So, how do I do this on here? Oh, okay, so we right click <laughs> to complete a task or not. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. I was like, how do I swipe? <laughs> The swiping is more satisfying, but I guess we're just gonna get have to get used to. Ooh, I really just huh. complete. Actually, no, I'm really just gonna change these things. Um, probably will be day to day on my computer would be something like edit MacBook video, film MacBook video. So it's gonna be film <laughs> MacBook unboxing. Ooh, we don't know how to spell <laughs> video and. Ooh, let me add some new categories while I'm here. Um, do love that lilac purple, but I think I'm gonna save that for something else. When it comes to like YouTube and videos and stuff like that, I feel like I want like a like a cool blue. This is mm -hmm, this is what I want. This is giving. Oh, the name. <laughs> um, maybe calling YouTubing. It's in the YouTubing tutorial. And we're gonna complete you, and then for this, I'm gonna say like transport video to MacBook. And put it in the YouTubing section, and we're gonna get out of there. Okay, so that's pretty much it for smart tasks. Let's get to the more fun part here and add some widgets. Okay, I don't really like have like a plan, <laughs> which I probably should, but I don't really have a plan so forth. I'm really just gonna like click things and see what works. One hour later. Okay, okay, so we're back. Everything is completely blank. Um, I've done a little bit of research because I really don't know how to use a computer for all. <laughs> Uh, I've done a little bit of research and I finally got rid of that folder that was just like hanging in the corner over there because like um, I don't have like, I haven't had enough time to like look in depth for like folder icons and different things like that nor do I know what I want clearly we saw that with the wallpapers <laughs> so that's gonna have to be something that happens over the next few weeks um, but right now the desktop is clear and that's what I wanted but with um, that flip clock app, app <laughs> that was downloaded before actually we do have this cute little like flip clock in the center now which i do want there and stuff actually works very well i thought i wanted it transparent at first but when you look at it this way it just pops a lot more and you guys can't see the outer line of the computer that i can see but the black inside of it with the black outside just makes it look nicer to me so i wanted to keep the um darker background color on that and then when it comes to my widgets, you'll see that <laughs> the location is in New Orleans because um, we recently went to New Orleans for a trip. That's a video that's going to be coming out soon too, um, after this video I plan actually, so um, keep a lookout for that. But I always like to like see the weather in front of me, like even if I'm not going to go anywhere, which is most likely the case because I always stay at home, I'm a homebody. But um, yeah, I always like to see the weather just in case I want to, you know, like step outside and like throw away the trash you know there's an option for that and i can see like if i need to like you know put better shoes on in case it's raining or something um and then i have my um little widget that has um the smart task on there to film the unboxing video and then to transport it so that's all available there hmm, accidentally clicked it And then I wanted to go into color widgets, which is the last app that we haven't opened and um, see if I can make some widgets that kind of like go along with the um, wallpaper in the background. So yeah, 
So then here, as you can see, um, we can select another little clock. I know what you're thinking, like how many things are gonna tell you the time? It's not about knowing the time, it's about the aesthetics, okay? <laughs> and we're gonna change this to, I wonder what would look good with this. That deep purple was kind of, hold on. That deep purple was kind of doing it for me. <laughs> um i think oh right there i think that this purple would actually work really well with it yeah so that's a set widget now so if we go into here oh we can see it right there and it can be right there okay and i'm gonna get rid of the new stories thing um and I'm gonna put this above here. I feel like I need something else next to it. You know, we don't have a calendar. So actually, let's make that too. Let's make a cute little calendar to go with it. So here's a cute little calendar. I'm kind of torn if I should make it a different color or not. No, I don't think so. I don't think it needs to be a different color. But the font, I really like this fanciful font, but I feel like a more rounded one would like look better with it. Like I, I love this font that it came with, but I just feel like for the theme of the whole thing, that this is a better font for it. So we're also gonna add that widget over here. If I can find it. <laughs> oh wait, well, by doing that, I accidentally deleted the other widget. Hold on, guys, I'm, I'm still learning, guys, please. <laughs> 346 minutes later you know all this stuff is a lot harder than originally perceived so i would like to take a moment in my video to give personal props to those people who really be customizing the hell out of their ipads their phones and their laptops because this is actually a lot i finally managed to um to get a calendar and a clock so i'm just renaming the widgets uh Just gonna save them as that so I can finally add them both to um, my widget things here. I'm gonna add another one, but instead I'm gonna make it the analog. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna make it edit the analog clock. Okay, and that's a cute little control center. It's not exactly color coordinated, but I actually much prefer it like that. So it's not like completely uniform because really nothing on my thing is really completely uniform. It's really just like random, but it all goes together. You know, I don't want like like a specific, like everything is white type of thing. Um, but I think that for the time being, that's really all I have to show you guys today. Um, maybe perhaps in the future I will feel brave <laughs> and um, want to you know go towards the possibility of personalizing this thing a lot more and doing things like that but for right now the amount of time that it took me to figure out just how to do those small things it's crazy <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you guys in my next video